An undercover operation that aimed at taking fentanyl off the streets turned into a gunfight. Tonight, three Kansas City, Kansas police officers are in the hospital recovering from that shooting. I'm Lauren Halifax. I'm Kevin Barry. All of the officers are awake with non-life-threatening injuries. We also know that the suspects involved are also recovering from their injuries. This comes after officers were buying fentanyl undercover near 18th and Parallel Parkway earlier today. That deal didn't go through and a gunfight broke out instead. Fox 4 Shannon Russo is live at the University of Kansas Hospital tonight where all three of those officers are recovering. Shannon. And Kevin, not only are they awake, but they are talking. That is the latest from the University of Kansas Hospital here on those three officers conditions. This shooting is just a harsh reality of the rising wave of violence that's tied to the fentanyl drug trade. A national problem hitting close to home today. Now, when investigation is underway in Kansas City, Kansas, after a shooting between police and accused fentanyl dealers, that shooting happening near 18th and Parallel Parkway around 3 o'clock. KCKPD's narcotics and tactical units following up on a days long undercover investigation involving fentanyl. We bought a large amount a couple days ago and we were there to buy another large amount. But today's deal did not go through. Chief Carl Oakman says officers decided to arrest the suspects, saying they already had enough information on them. Um, so at that point, we went to effect an arrest, and at that point, there was gunfire. The three officers hit all wearing tactical gear and all suffering non-life-threatening injuries. Police also say the suspects were shot, but non-life-threatening. With fentanyl increasing in the U.S., Chief Oakman compares it to crack cocaine from the 1980s and 90s. You have these crack dealers that are now selling fentanyl. So the violence, the guns, um, just about every fentanyl search warrant that we get, we get anywhere from two to five guns uh, through those search warrants. Just two months ago, officers recovered 10,000 fentanyl-laced pills with a street value of $100,000. KCK seized about 150,000 pills last year and expect even more this year. Tonight, Chief Oakman with this message for the wounded officers. We're here to support you. Your community's here to support you. Anything you need, we will get for you. And we just appreciate how you put your life on the line to protect us and allow us to do the things that we sometimes take for granted. And KCK's police department has put in a lot of initiatives targeting violent crime with detailed responses to fentanyl in particular since late 2021. Kevin, the reason they're hitting on this really hard is because they say fentanyl is about 100 times stronger than morphine and an overdose from it can happen within minutes. Thank you, Shannon. Shannon Russo live at University of Kansas Hospital tonight where those three officers are recovering.